Like it was a nice night just to hang around the clubhouse, so everyone was relaxing. Everyone but Freddy, that is. I know he did it. I don't know what he did, but I know he did it. Velma, have you seen my coat anywhere? Aha! I'll bet Red Herring took it. Actually, because of the warm climate, you probably left your sweater at home, Daphne. Thanks, Velma. Is there anything else you'd like to blame on Red, Sherlock? Not yet, but I'll think of something. Like, has anybody seen my pimento and peppermint pizza? Aha! I know! It's another vintage Red Herring stunt. Oh, give it up, Freddy. I think you've got Red Herring on the brain. <laughs> Like it figures, whenever there's a missing pizza, it's not hard to figure out who done it. That's right. <laughs> uh-uh. Red did it. I know he did it. You just think you ate it. Settle down, Freddy. Freddy, this is getting out of hand. I know, but I can't help it. He's got those beady eyes, that nasty smirk, that... Hello. Ah, you forgot bad breath, you bonehead. <laughs> Freddy, I've got an idea. If you don't accuse Red of anything for 24 hours, maybe that will help break the habit. Like Freddy? <laughs> Not accuse Red for 24 hours? That'll never happen. Sure it will. I can do it. No sweat. Just watch. How long do I have left now, Scooby? Well, three hours, uh, rusty nine minutes, and rusty five seconds. Well, this may not be as easy as I thought. Mike, what's that? It's a pebble. That's a rock. Aha! I know what's happening. It's gotta be... Freddy! A uh, bigger rock? Like, why would someone be throwing rocks at us? Aha! I told you, it's Red Herring's aunt. What would Red Herring want with us? I want to hire you. <laughs> why else would I want to talk to you weenies? We'll be right down, Mrs. Herring. Why do you want to hire the Scooby-Doo Detective Agency, Mrs. Herring? Is it because of our super sleuthing or perhaps our low daily rates? Nah, it's because someone stole my bike and you're the closest detective agency to my house. Say, aren't you the doodle brain who's always accusing my nephew? Not you. This is terrible. My bike was swiped and on the day before my birthday, too. I see. And what kind of bike was it? One of those three-wheelers with the basket? What are you, some kind of a basket case? It's an off-road chopper with chrome side pipes and a two-barrel. Here's a picture of my baby. You mean somebody actually stole that? Yep. Isn't she a beaut? Follow me. I'll take you to the scene of the crime. Your bike was stolen out of there? Yep. Don't ask me how I know it, but it's gone. Do you have any idea of who might have wanted to take it? Hmm. Let me see. Well, I know one person, but I don't want to talk about him. No, sir. Have you ever heard of the Boogie Biker? Boogie Biker? Who's that? Well, it was a long time ago. It was a big cross-country race, and I was going against my arch rival, the mysterious Boogie Biker. We both wanted to win that race really bad. <laughs> It was a close race, but when the boogie biker took a shortcut through Devil's Canyon, he disappeared. Oh. You're kidding. Nope. So I won the first prize. My chopper. The only bike I've ridden since. And now, it's gone. <laughs> like, then he must have come back after all these years to get the bike that you won. That's right. Now go find it. I'm not paying you to stand around. <laughs> They're all a bunch of weenies. It's time to snip out some clues, Scooby. It is? Oh, right, buddy. 